video here on One Team Inertia. Today, I want to talk to you about one man in particular, and that is Greg Kelty, and specifically his future at the club. As we saw yesterday in the 2 0 win over Hamilton, he absolutely ran the show. Two goals and another deserved man of the match performance to add to what has been a fantastic season for the midfielder and what has been an otherwise disappointing season for the club. He's been one of the bright sparks and one certainly to look towards for the future. Now, along with a lot of players at the club, uh, the majority of the players at the club actually, Greg's contract is uh, up at the end of the season, at the end of May. And so that is something the club need to look at uh, with priority and get him signed up on a very long term deal. I'm not talking one or two years, I'm talking three or four years. I know obviously the financial situation is difficult at the minute, but if we're going to divert resources to one player, it's got to be Greg. Uh, he is the one for the future. He's the one to mould and build our future team around. And uh, he's going to be the one that's going to lead us to success in the years to come. You can just see yesterday how he ran the show in that number 10 role. He was absolutely superb the whole game, picking up little pockets of space, making things happen, driving forward. And he's the one that's been getting us so many points this season with his brilliant individual displays. And uh, he's been absolutely superb all season. So the board need to look at it, give him a long-term contract, something that he can't turn down. He can't move to another club in the summer for nothing. That would be an absolute disaster if we were to lose him for free. Uh, and make sure that we give him the long-term contract he deserves. He's not had the easiest time as a Kelly player since he first stepped onto Rugby Park almost 10 years ago now. He's been uh, blighted with injuries. He's been out on loan to teams like Morton and Fermley. He's done well there. He's bided his time. He could have moved on from Kelly without a doubt. He could have moved to one of those clubs permanently, I'm sure. But he's chosen to stick with Kelly. He knew that his time would come. He knew that he would get the chance to shine in the Premiership. And that's exactly what he's doing this year. It's great to see as a local lad uh, who's come through the, the academy. It's just fantastic to see that he's finally... Uh, hitting, his, hitting his stride and he's flourishing in the first team which is fantastic so get him a long term contract and then what we need to do is build the team around him make him the nucleus in that number 10 role and make sure that we get players in that complement him and his style uh, and then we'll get the best out of him and he could easily become one of the best players in the Premiership in the next couple of years of that I have no doubt so although it's difficult and we've got a lot of players out of contract in the summer that we'll all need looked at he is the one that needs to be looked at the most uh, and the board need to get onto that straight away uh, because to lose him would be as I say absolutely criminal um, and so that is something that needs to happen all the fans love him the players love him as well they get on really well with him and um, he's just an all-round fantastic individual and he has the club at heart so you don't get many of those anymore so uh, make sure that we tie him down on a long-term deal uh, and he can go on to flourish and hopefully lead us to success in the future hey,